takes to finish out our quest. Okay, Jay, uh, we've got the current map. We're trying to figure out off. No, the that is map. the 1854 map. Oh, that's the 1854. That one? is the original it map. It is the current map for him. Yeah, it is, it is the current <laughs> map for me. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, except for one thing, it doesn't have all this other stuff on the other side of the bayou. And everything's changed because all this stuff has been torn down and whatnot since. Uh, even if we did have it, we're standing on the wrong side of it. Yeah. Looking back down. So that doesn't really help us. What would really help us if we had a topographic map of this. I guess the next step we just need to bring a metal detector out here and start a search, huh? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, Start there's a lot there of and work our way this way. Yeah, there, there's a lot of land that uh, is still in the public domain out here, like this particular park that we're standing in is in the public domain. Uh, that area over there is pretty much in the public domain. There's no signs, no fencing, no private property to keep out. So I'm thinking that we could probably sweep all the probable places outside of the cemetery itself or something that's in that plant's uh, jurisdiction over there. You know, because they won't let us in for nothing. Not enough money in the world to get us in that place. Okay. line from this road is cut off here but if you stand on it and you look down that way what you're looking at is that you're looking at where those young oak trees are growing because they've had more than enough time to generate two three generations and those if you notice are in sort of a circular pattern down there that's uh, what I was thinking and being if we have this other oak tree over here off the line I would suggest that looking over there you see another oak tree this was a rather large oak uh, or, uh, acorn orchard 
you know, because back then people actually ate acorn bread and acorn candies and acorn this, that, and the other. Like you can get watches, get out, get out, get out, get out. Mm -hmm. It looks like you can get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve rings, distinct rings between this. So here. Oh, no, that's not a good so spot. It's about a quarter of an inch. I'm about 15 inches. Uh, 12 rings every quarter of an inch. Yeah. That's 12 times 15. Huh? That's 12 times 15. Yeah. So, yeah. Close to, uh, 12 times 15, that's close to 200 years. You know, just an estimation. So. This tree could be anywhere from 150 to 200. Using the basic. 200 years uh, as a rough estimate. Uh, that puts us back in the times whenever uh, they were milling acorns, like we mentioned, that uh, that's what it might be. But this proves that these things are in regular intervals and uh, there's no undergrowth around the trees, which means that it was probably very well kept. Uh, it's a park, of course it's very well kept. <laughs> what did you say? It's a park, of course it's very well kept. <laughs> yeah. It's for the citizens. Alright. But we know that this tree could have been here. We know that this tree could have been here then at the time that they stole the cannons. Somewhere in here, most likely they're buried. According to all the affidavits and every, all the information we've been given over the past how many years? Oh God. A lot. We've been working on this for at least 15 years, Jack. <laughs> 